All right then, I'm back with another video. Today is gonna to be a bit of a training day, day in the life job. I haven't done one of these for ages, but yeah, we're actually gonna get out there on the ball. We're gonna do a run, some fitness, and it's gonna be a good day. But first, we need to get some breakfast and stuff, do some reading and just normal stuff that I do pretty much every morning. Don't be having a laugh at the hair, by the way. I know it's not the best. It's a mixture between bedhead lockdown, can't get it cut, and I'm growing it out anyway. <laughs> so then yes, I might be still in my dressing gown, but the work has begun. We're gonna have my breakfast, which I'll show you now. We've got a lovely bit of porridge with some uh, apricots and dried fruit in there, and a lovely little coffee. That's the book I'm reading at the minute, How To Be Brilliant, Change Your Ways In 90 Days, because obviously we want to be brilliant. We're gonna Write down a to-do list, read, do all my morning routine stuff, which if you haven't seen, I'll link a video to my morning routine. And yeah, we're going to crack on. So then, we're going to get a little ball session in now. Just a bit of passing, maybe a bit of ball mastery. We don't have much room. Maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then we're going to do a 5k run. But yeah, let's get into this. The first drill that we went into was right foot passing. So we did five sets of 20 of this, which is 100 in total. So after 20, I just give myself a little rest and then we go again. We then moved into five with the left foot. So just one touch against the wall, focusing on getting a clean contact with the ball. And obviously it's hard with the wall. And then we moved into alternate feet or alternating feet. So same again, one touch and we do a hundred all together again. We then go into two touch with the right foot. So as you can see, you just take a little touch and then play the pass. It's harder than it looks. We then obviously do the same with the left foot. All the exercises we're doing, we're doing 100 of. And yeah, with an uneven wall and an uneven floor, it makes it difficult. We then go into two touch alternating feet. So as you can see, you take the ball across with the inside of your foot and play the pass with the other foot. We then go into two touch, but with the outside of the foot this time, as you can see, we just take it across the body with the outside of your foot and play the pass. We then go into the left foot pass with the right foot flip flop, or flip flap, sorry. Uh, so as you see, you play the pass and then go outside inside quickly. We then go with the other foot and the camera doesn't really pick this up, but you can tell what I'm on with. Bad pass there. We then go into alternating feet. So as you can see, you play the pass and then do the flip flap with the same foot. We then go into juggling. So we go with 50 with the left foot first. I've sped it up so you don't have to watch it all. You then swap to the right foot, do another 50. And then finally, I did 100 alternating feet and this took around 20 to 25 minutes in total. Now time for the run. That's going to do me for the football session. It's now time to get into the 5K, which is going to be interval training or fat leg training, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do one kilometer warm up at a fairly decent pace. We're then going to do three kilometers worth of sprinting, jogging, and walking. We are going to sprint for 10 seconds, jog for 20 seconds, walk for 30 seconds. Time to change the footwear and we'll get into it. So then we're about to hit the 1K mark which means 10 seconds sprint 20 seconds jog 30 seconds walk almost there one twenty seconds jog 30 seconds walk. Oh, it's gonna be hard. I'll see you at the end. So this is probably the last walk and then it's gonna be a one kilometer run back to, well, jog to finish the 5K. That's another 5K done. 
I think it took about 28 minutes it's if you try this out it feels easy at the first and then trust me it gets hard towards the end but I suppose it just depends how much you push yourself but yeah another good run can't wait for my rest day tomorrow so then I'm back off my uh, 5k so we've done about 20 25 minutes of ball work today which is first time in literally ages since I've done any of that and then a nice 5k interval training as well so pretty good day I've got a rest day tomorrow because what I've been doing is I'm in a 30 day challenge at the minute where I'm doing a home workout and 5k runs uh, if you want to see more of that have a look on my Instagram and there's a lot more in detail there I show you every single day and I am going to do a video on here later at some point with the full 30 days and the results now it's time for a shower and then Man United play Arsenal today so I might watch that and yeah probably just chill for the rest of the day rest eat healthy and that is today pretty much done can't see anyone winning this one I think it's going to be a nil-niller typical cool.